Cancer and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from October 25th to November 1st. This space has been cleared and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind. So we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you will know when cancer content is uploaded. Cancer content comes out every single Wednesday. If you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read, please feel free to check out that description box below. If you're really feeling my vibe and would like to subscribe, please click on that link to my Patreon account in the description box below. Also down there, you'll find all my social media contacts and on every one of those platforms and every day on YouTube, you can get your daily energy reading, which is broken down into individual cards, runes, or astrology if you prefer just to consume one of those things. In some of those cards, there are affirmations. Please say those affirmations three times. If you wish to activate that energy in your life, please only say what resonates with you, though, as always. Now, I will say that this uh, the daily energy readings are meant for you to be able to start off your day. They're only from 10 to 15 minutes long, no more than that. And they sort of set the energy for the day for you uh, so that you can proceed knowing what other people might be stepping to you with. Not trying to tell you what you should do, just telling you what to expect from others. The energy itself. Not that we have any control over it. Uh, also down there you'll find I offer an energy reading and a variety of other things. So please do feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions about any of the services that I offer. I only ask that you keep it respectful when you communicate with me. I will be respectful when I communicate with you. Also down there, you will find a link to my Red Bubble store where you can find this desk mat and other products like it. This is the brand new one. I deliberately overexposed it. This is a real mountain here in Tucson. And I wanted it to be pixelated. I wanted it to seem like it wasn't quite real. Like as if the reality, the energy is just stretched a little bit too thin. The mountains in, in, in Tucson are known to have that kind of uh, quality. People who do that kind of energy work work with vortexes and stuff like to say there's vortexes on every mountain in Tucson. So I wanted to give it that sort of look to it. It's a very particular aesthetic. But I'm really happy with it. It looks sort of dreamy. Like it's not quite real. Like, reality is not quite real. All right, so the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th, instead of giving you the individual astrology, I'm going to give you this real quick summary. All of those days add up to the same thing. When During your productive hours, don't be afraid to grind it out. Auger in, focus, rip apart the guts of that thing that don't make, no, uh, don't make any sense right now. Fix it back up, put it back together. Give it your undivided attention at that time. But then make sure you're making amount of equal amounts of time for rest. It's very important that you tend to yourself during this time because that 28th, we have a void of course moon at 428 a.m. At 744 a.m. the moon enters into the sign of Taurus. At 424 p.m. we have a full moon, 424 EDT. But the eclipse, the lunar eclipse starts at 208 a.m. PM EDT and goes until 626 PM EDT. You're supposed to be able to see the moon, but you can't see the moon because the shadow of the earth is in the way. That's what the eclipse is. You've got the Mars and Mercury in the sign of Scorpio with the sun in the sign of Scorpio, and they're all opposite Jupiter retrograde in Taurus. Mars opposite Mercury opposite. Mercury opposite. Mercury is going to want to, want to talk about what we want to do. The Mars is where we're going to want to do what we talk about. But there's a hang up there. There's a blockage somehow. Jupiter in retrograde. Something new is going to come in. It's a full moon that's a new moon because in the new moon we can't see the moon. There are full, four lunar eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse readings waiting for you right now. Three oracles and the astrology that we can get, where it goes into it a little deeper. On the 29th, we have Mercury conjunct, that's less than a 10 degree angle, Mars in Scorpio, again with the sun, without waning 
uh, gibbous moon because we're after the full moon now. A list of our intentions in practical Taurus. Ideas are bouncing off the walls all over the place, and some of them even might excite you. Very easily, the desire to act on one of those quickly can take over this day. It can become your whole day. On the 31st, of course, is Halloween. Uh, but the, the all the energies of that particular day, without really caring why, uh, is all very compatible for get along energy, making strong connections and keeping those connections. The first really isn't anything for you to worry about. Just make sure you take time. Emotions, there might be a lot of emotions on the first. Make sure you're leaving time for uh, sorting through those emotions. Don't try to ignore them because then they just take over in ways you won't appreciate. Cancer, October 25th to November 1st. 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 Cancer, October 25th. To November 1st. Ooh. Okay. Let's see, do we need to even do it anymore? We do not. It's the exact number of cards needed <laughs> with absolutely no extra. All right, there, Cancer. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards. Past present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards do mean groups. Also on this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm describing energy. You're going to place it on the person that sounds like. And then that's the relationship we're talking about. Nine of Cups there that is a heartfelt, open, excited energy there in your past. You were real happy about something. That's beautiful. Could have come from the divine. That's a Taurus energy there as well. But it's about higher education, higher learning, and the divine. Spirit could have come in and blessed you with something, and that could have been a wonderful news of some kind. Two of Wands, you were standing at some sort of crossroads. Happy crossroads, but a crossroads. <laughs> Ten of Wands, right now you feel really burdened in your present moment. You're looking to put down these burdens. You're almost there. It's time to grind it out. Strength card, that's Leo energy. There's a need to be strong in your near future because you're not quite done with that Ten of Wands. Four of Swords, but you will get a break. A break is coming. Cancer, a break is coming. Hermit card, that is Virgo energy. Somebody you could have been at a break from, Four of Swords, could be coming back into communication with you. Hermit card, they might have gone within to heal. Could be dealing with a Virgo. King of Pentacles, any earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Taurus, also card of Aries. Keep the, the bookends there of the Taurus energy. But this card is also a card of bosses and authority figures. So it could just be you and boss energy. Eight of Swords, you're all torn up in your head about something. Balance uh, of this interaction makes you feel unsure or makes them feel unsure. Somebody's up in their head, they feel trapped, but they're not really trapped. They just feel trapped. If you peep that card, it's the reflection that's trapped. She doesn't have any birds flying around her head. There's no blindfold. Her eyes are just closed. Open your eyes, Cancer. Open your eyes. Queen of Cups. Any water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Heavy on the Cancer. Also card of Gemini. Could be you need to open your third eye. Your intuition might be blocked off. Tap it awake. Come on, Cancer. Two fingers in the middle of the forehead. Tap, tap, tap. Right where the, the third eye is. Five of swords. Some sort of argument that you need to be using your intuition on. Something here with this where you're not quite understanding. Cancer, Pisces, energy, and the moon. You are the one in the dark. There's an argument coming because you're not using your intuition on a subject. Seven of swords. There's lies here. 
lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating, whether you're engaging in that behavior or not, knowingly or unknowingly or not, I don't know who's telling the lies. But there is something unclear here. What is this Nine of Cups in Cancer's past? You were happy about it, but yeah, that's you. It's the Queen of Cups energy. That's you, you're happy about this. What's this Nine of Cups? You're excited about something. Ten of Swords, what's this Nine of Cups about an ending? Nine of Wands, what's this Nine of Cups? Knight of Wands, any fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Sagittarius. Also card of Scorpio, nine and nine. 99, so they could have come to an end, 10 of swords, right? You're feeling defensive about something, feeling betrayed, nine of wands, 10 of swords, but something changed, some communication, something drastic came, came in and it changed, and whatever the change was, whatever the action that was taken, it made you happy. Nine of cups, what's this higher font? It could have felt like a gift from the divine, Somebody's sad. What is this higher font? So not everybody's happy. Two of Pentacles. What's this higher font? Three of Swords. What's this higher font? Oh. Okay. So this opportunity, this Ace of Wands, required some sort of balance. Two of Pentacles. Something to be balanced out. Three of Swords. It made somebody sad. It was some sort of stressor. Maybe, maybe you somebody was moving away some some ending that made you happy or you thought it made you happy because you didn't fully realize whatever it was three of swords it became something to be sad about even though it's something that came from the divine it could be that a new opportunity coming in means that you had to let go of something that you didn't want to let go of from your past to clarify what is this two of wands Courthouse. That's Libra energy. Contracts, document, paperwork, marriage. What is this Two of Wands? What is this Two of Wands? World card, Page of Pentacles. Some sort of opportunity to travel. World card or to bring something to a completion or ending for something new. Ace of Pentacles. Maybe an opportunity to travel for a deal something you thought was going to be a small deal turned out to be a big deal could have to do with a contract document paperwork marriage could deal with the libra and that's why you're standing at this crossroads what is this ten of wands in cancer's present moment why are you stressed what is this pathway you're trying to forge a new way what's this ten of wands forging new ways are always hard trust me i've done it plenty of times this is ten of wands i forge new pathways every place i uh, go to work for what's this ten of wands Empress card, Taurus Libra energy, Sun card is Leo energy. So there's something about this path that's going to be illuminated for you here, the Sun card, that requires you to let something go, Eight of Cups, in order to move forward, in order to get rid of this, uh, this burden, this Ten of Wands. You have to be willing to walk away from something. Could be this Empress, it could be that this Empress Taurus Libra energy is just telling you that you need to walk away from something. What is this strength card? Like somebody specific that's involved in the situation might come in and tell you what you need to get rid of. Like that. Maybe a professional of some kind. What's this strength card? What's this strength card? What's this strength card? So nine of swords. Needing to be strong because you're going to get resistance here. Seven of wands. to a communication. Eight of wands. Because it's a nightmare situation. Main male, that's any fire sign. This is your energy, really. Because it's like the getting the king of wands, which is cancer energy. So you need to be strong when this communication comes in. Because there's going to be defensive energy. Because something's going to be said that you don't like. You might have to deliver an unpopular message. But is this four of swords? Or someone might have to give you an unpopular message. Something that you don't like. Uh, King of, of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Scorpio, also card of Libra. What's this Four of Swords? You could be at a distance with one of those people. What's this Four of Swords? Not really in communication. What's this Four of Swords? Yeah. King of Wands. That's your energy again. So some communication. Page of Wands. Could be coming into you from this person. It could be you communicating with that person. I think it's going to be equal amounts 
doesn't have to be like 50 50 equal but it's going to be this sort of thing it's going to change situation to situation you're either going to communicate to something somebody that something is unequal and you need a break or somebody's going to come in and communicate that to you take it out as it resonates what's this hermit card toil and labor you can work with this person it's this hermit card tower it's this hermit card or maybe you used to What's this hermit card? Could be a Capricorn. Six of Wands. Okay. We have Virgo Capricorn energy here with this uh, devil card. This person who's been in separation from you, maybe been in healing mode, who you either do work with or you used to work with or there's some association with money. It's going to tell you there's something wrong. There's some sort of tower. But they potentially have a victory over it. Like they have an answer, maybe, for what's broken. What's this King of Pentacles? You might have to make a decision. Family room. So this you could know this person and your friends and family. What's this uh, King of Pentacles? What's this King of Pentacles? What's this King of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles. So again, it could be a boss decision. Three of cups. Okay, so it could be work, could be home. That's what this is saying. Because this would be home, this could be work. So it's going to change depending upon your situation or it's going to hit you in both places. Something about that is going to affect both places. Three of cups could come from your friend, friends and family situation. Could be part of a group. You could be, you could work as part of a group. Like maybe you're not the only decision maker in the household, or maybe you're not the only decision maker in the workplace. Five of Wands, but there's some conflict. Whatever this is, it brings conflict. Five of Wands, that's fighting, yelling, screaming, that kind of thing. Competitive job, gossip, politics. What's this? Eight of Swords. That's why it brings you uh, worry about the future. What's this? Eight of Swords. What's this? Eight of Swords. What's this Eight of Swords? Page of Swords. Something you find out here about this separation, this Four of Swords, about whatever the situation is here, where, some, where there's on, this inequity going on, whatever that situation is that you find out about. Could deal with an Aries, but it doesn't have to be. It's going to require some sort of leap of faith for your future, and the idea of that leap of faith makes you worried. What is this king, queen of cups? Queen of cups. False person. You need to use your intuition about this person that's lying. What's this queen of cups? What's this queen of cups? What's this queen of cups? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's for sure, sure. Hi, priestess. That's Cancer Pisces energy. Use your intuition about these lies, about this blockages. Four of pentacles and these lies. Seven of Swords, lying, stealing, cheating, manipulating. There's definitely things not being truthful here. What is this Five of Swords? This argument might expose some of these lies. That's Scorpio energy. What's this Five of Swords? Something from the past, something old. Four of Cups, what's this Five of Swords? What's this Five of Swords? You might have said no to this once before. Leo energy with the strength. And the Queen of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Libra, also card of Virgo. Four of Cups is nope card energy. I need to be strong all over again. The strength card energy here. If you think in this situation here, you settle something out, you don't. It comes back around. It's not gone. It's coming back around. Because that would be like getting the death and rebirth card in this deck. What's this moon card? Sudden wealth. Something in the dark that you don't know about with the money. What's this moon card? Having some sort of realization about that. What's this moon card? Wheel of Fortune. Two of Wands. Standing at this crossroads in this divine timing. Because you weren't meant to know this thing until exactly this moment. And there was nothing you could do about that unless you missed signs earlier. What is the Seven of Swords? These lies make you feel trapped. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? 
King of Swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Aquarius. Also, card of Capricorn, Queen of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Aries. Also, card of Libra and a card of Pisces. Something felt very, somebody very appealing. Could have been being very dishonest. And now you feel burdened, you feel trapped. Likely you figured this out here with this Ten of Wands. Whatever this is here that makes you feel burdened about this pathway, you're gonna realize the exact complications that you uh, likely inherited from this person or you uh, allowed by not paying attention or something of that nature, however that works out. Motion detected at front door. Advice for Aquarius. I'm sorry, not Aquarius. Advice, because it might be related to Aquarius. Advice for Cancer. October 25th through November 1st. Knight of Pentacles. Advice for Aquarius. I'm sorry. Wow. It's a lot of Aquarius energy right there. Why? Advice for Cancer. It could be heavy on the in inherited. Maybe you inherited something from an Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Any earth sign? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Heavy on the Virgo. Also card of Leo. Justice card. Libra energy. Maybe a contract, document, paperwork, marriages. Three of Pentacles, a commitment. Contract, document, paperwork, marriage. Very slowly move forward into bringing something in balance in, so, for, in something you're committed to. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think of because this is the deck that does it. I'm going to pull three cards. This is your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions you would like answered. Message for Cancer. You're ready? Message for Cancer. Within the next few months, message for Cancer. Within the next few weeks, those are all yeses. This one is right now, these two have a time delay. Yes, but wait. Advice for Cancer, October 25th and November 1st. Have faith in your dreams, wax and crescent moon. Advice for Cancer, October 25th and November 1st. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Advice for Cancer, October 25th and November 1st. Surrender to the divine full moon, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the, of the deck. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Emotions are running high, super moon. It's time to take action, new moon in Aries. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. So this is quite a few endings because of the power of this eclipse really is what this is, this full moon eclipse. Um, so new can come in. You're going to need to take action on something, but you need to allow something to end first for the, before it's time for the action taking to happen. Message for cancer. Fairy guardian. You have your own fairy guardian. One who has watched over you from your first breath. They will always be with you. Sending signs, opening doors, offering good fortune. They will never let you know. Look at that, Cancer. You're never alone. Isn't that wonderful to know? I hope that helps, Cancer, because it's what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe. No less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.